If you see a big hot male white tail shiner, he'll be kind of pink with white margins on his fins. They're really pretty too. We propagate threatened and endangered and, and other uh, imperiled fishes uh, in this, from the southeastern United States. These are mostly little fish, non-game fish that a lot of people don't really care about, but they're kind of the canaries in the coal mine in our streams. Well, this year um, marks the 20th anniversary of our incorporation as, as conservation fisheries. Uh, and what we're out here doing today Really, it's, it's appropriate because this is the stream where it all started. This is where we started um, our, our work, actually more than 20 years ago that we actually started to work. But uh, what we're doing in here today, we're collecting nests of the endangered Smoky Mad Tom, uh, which will take these eggs and larvae back to our hatchery facility in Knoxville and uh, grow them to an appropriate size to release. Uh, these guys will be going into the Telco River. In our hatchery in Knoxville, we have about 30 species of imperiled fishes or populations uh, of, of different species. We, we have over the years worked with maybe 60 species of fish. Uh, most, most of them are some of the rarest fishes in, in eastern North America. These are fish that most people will never see or have never seen. You, you really have to get out in the river and snorkel to enjoy them. Uh, Which the we would encourage people yeah, to it's, do. It's, it's, a, a, lot it's of fun. a lot of fun. Uh, as long as you're careful about the way you, you go about doing it, it's, a, it's a, great, uh, a great hobby and a lot of people do it as a hobby. Well, I used the analogy of canaries in the coal mine before. They're what we call indicator species. These are some of the fish species that are most sensitive to impacts like, like sediment running into the stream or pollutants. So they tell us you know, whether we're messing up our water and potentially poisoning ourselves with things that we may not you know, know about. You know, this smoky mad tom, for instance, may not mean anything if it went extinct. Probably most people would never know if it disappeared. But if it disappeared, there's something wrong. And then if another, maybe the next most sensitive species disappears, you know, something may be a little worse wrong. And then the next one, you know, where do you draw the line? At, at what point is it okay to start losing these things out of the stream? Because, you know, we all have to have the water to drink. You know, the fact that these guys are disappearing should tell us that there's something up.